Now I'm going to show you how to get the uh, .obj file, the little world, and the Minecraft wig, rig, and combine them into one save, since we, uh, well, we, I guess we didn't save it, but uh, whenever you finish, you want to click save as, you know, and save it, obviously. But um, those are in two separate files and two separate sa saves, so we want to combine the two. Um, one easy way of doing that is I'm going to quickly open the .obj file, mineways, um, we'll go to, how big is this, let's see, oh, that's pretty small, alright, um, alright, we got a small little house right here, um, textured, it's still pretty, not that laggy, um, so yeah, we'll use this little house, we could have used that a long time ago, that's awesome. Solid. So, um, want to change that, add hemi, and we'll move that centered with the little house. So we've got light in all directions. Um, go to our camera, click G, the middle scroll button and, oh crap, first select the camera, G, scroll button, and then zoom into it, G, move around, uh, you can also click R, uh, and rotate it by clicking any of the axis, ax axi, I guess, axis, axi, um, I'll do R, Z, and it'll rotate it, you know, along the Z axis, or you could do RX, which will move it along the x-axis, and since we're in a weird angle, it just making it crooked. Or RY, and it's a little crooked again. But yeah. Or you could just do R and just rotate it freely. Um, and G and stuff. Anyway, um, next we are going to add our character by going to File. Um, append, then we'll go to finished model, where we finished, we, where we have our finished little model, go to, uh, we'll go to my blend, um, let's see, where is it, oops, um, yeah, let's select the object, select everything, and link, and all right, that gets all the controls, and you see the little character. Now, as you can see, he's oops, he's basically the size of the house, and you don't want that. So what you're gonna do is uh, select him. Oops, actually, I to go back. Um, don't unselect him. Uh, you can unselect everything by clicking A and A again to select everything, but uh, don't do that. Whenever you paste them in, oops, crap. I just deleted them. Append, select everything. Alright, don't unselect your character, uh, because what you want to do is resize him. Um, what you want to do is select him, obviously, click S, and then what I like to do is point, uh, maybe 5, and it'll reduce his size by halfway. And uh, he's still the size of the house, so um, what we're going to do is uh, S.1, never mind, S.5, yeah I guess we'll just keep on doing point five. S.5, oops, alright, G to move him around. I'm down here. Oops. And you you can select it by clicking B and dragging all of this. Click Shift and unselect the camera. G, move them down here. G again, move them. Try to have them standing right on the house. 
And yeah, there we go. So you got your little little character. Um, the size might be a little off. You can always change that and everything. Um, if we go to texture, we can see. Oops, what's that texture? Yeah, that was texture. Uh, we can see the character and the house. Why is it being all weird? It's a weird texture. Huh. Let's see what happens when we render it. Oh yeah, it looks good when we render it. Uh, we got a little character back over there, and we have our house. So uh, that's all the basics and everything. Um, I'm actually I'm gonna try something. I'm going to. Sweet. Well, this is the inside of the house. Whatever house this is, I don't even remember making this. Um, we're gonna take him, move him inside the house. All right. All right, sweet. Um, we'll paste him right there. And I want to see if the windows are transparent. So what we're going to do is go into our camera view. We're going to move the camera um, near the window. Alright, render, oh nope, um, let's see if we can make the windows transparent, highlight the window, go to material, um, transparency, here we go, hmm, I haven't really worked with this all too much. And that didn't work at all. Hmm. There we go. Um, yeah, you can change the alpha and the fresh shell under transparency, and um, you can see a little bit of the window, a little bit of a reflection, because uh, I added mirror. And um, you can see the character in there, definitely. Uh, you can change to where you can't see the window at all, which, I mean, I would just delete the window if you wanted to do that. Um, but if you want a little bit of window, like you see the window and then a character inside, mess around with uh, these to your liking and yeah that worked pretty well so um 
that's kind of all I have for this video. Uh, comment and um, tell me if you want to want any tutorials of anything else. Maybe animating the characters, maybe uh, rendering, which actually, now nah, I'll go over that later um, if you guys want to. Um, but yeah, that's kind of it. Um, Philosophy Major, if you have any questions, you can always uh, message me. And anyone else, same for you.